$500. You saved up $500 for a gaming setup. You know what you could do with $500? You can buy a nice flight from LA to New York City. You can buy all your friends some Korean barbecue. You could have bought half of the Pokemon 100 Thieves leather jacket. And you chose to use it on your setup. I would have done that too. Hey, if you're new and you're not from my YouTube shorts somehow, welcome. I don't know why YouTube wanted you to see this, but the rule is this. We have my computer and we have my monitor. And this whole space right here is to make a setup with the budget you guys give me, whether in my shorts comment or on my YouTube video, I guess. This is gonna be a $500 setup, not including the computer or the monitor. For the mouse, we have the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste wireless. It's a very lightweight wireless mouse by HyperX. It has a 100 hour battery life, goes up to 16,000 DPI, and it comes at 0.13 pounds. Now I've been testing out this mouse for a couple of days and I will say it does perform really well. The one thing that you should know is that it does have a relatively fatter base. To explain, let me show you the difference between this and the Model O minus. I mean, it's clear, right? The HyperX is noticeably fatter than the Model O minus. Now, next on the list is gonna be the keyboard. And now this is a rare find. This is the SK71 from a company named Womier. And yes, 71 means 71%. It has really good quality for the price, but it's hot swappable. It has built-in RGB. There's also lights on the side. You can connect this through Bluetooth, wired, and 2.4 gigahertz. Now below the mouse and keyboards, we're gonna have to put a mouse pad. And this is something that you guys might fight about. This is a $20 desk pad from Logitech. And from the build quality, how it feels, it's decent. It's $20, you can't really expect much, but you guys might be saying, hey, I could find a $5 one, a $6 one, and it's true. I actually personally use a cheap Amazon desk pad for a long time. Now, even then I knew the quality wasn't very good, but I took care of it very well. I made sure I washed it frequently. So if you happen to find cheaper alternatives on Amazon or any other website you use, then go for it. Now, one thing I really like about this price point is that we could ditch the whole headset market. One of the best headphones I could even think of is the Soundcore Q30. Hey, before I lose any credibility, I wanna show you these. I bought both of these with my own money. This is what I was talking about, the Q30 from Soundcore. But this is the Q20 that I bought six years ago at this point. And you can fight me all you want, but Soundcore is honestly one of the best budget headphone brands. But again, for $64, the Soundcore Q30 has to be my top choice. But with it has to be a good mic. Now we're gonna be spending a lot of money. We got the Audio-Technica AT2024 USB. This is a $150 USB mic. Now, obviously it's USB, so you're not gonna have the functionality of an XLR mic with an XLR interface, but it sounds pretty good. And what you're hearing now is this, if you couldn't tell, the difference between my, uh, my this mic and this mic, but it's solid, but it is $150. So we wanna make sure that it is attached to one of the best boom arm in the market. This is the Elgato. LP boom arm, and it's solid. Now, the great things about PC setups is that there are a lot of different options. So you go ahead, you try many different things. It's okay, and you don't have to follow my advice or anyone's advice. And I don't really know how to end the YouTube video, but that's it. Thank you for watching, I guess. If you wanna follow, you can. If you don't, it's okay, just move on.